In this video, I want to discuss pass by value and pass by reference. So again, I'm putting the code behind this button. Um, currently behind that button there, I don't have anything. So I do have a method here called change the value and it receives an int. So right now we're looking at the default in C sharp when you pass a value type, which would be an int, a short, a long, a double, a car, a bool. Basically, it's something that you've declared and starts with a lowercase letter. The default for you pass when you pass a value type is pass by value, which means a copy of the value is passed and not the actual variable itself. So what I'm going to do here is um, declare, so int, we call this original. Give it a value there of six. Now, when I call the method underneath, call it by its name, change the value, and I'm passing in the original variable name. Now, so what happens here is when I say I want to pass down the variable original, it passes down a copy of the value. So six is stored in original. Therefore, when I call the method underneath, here is another variable declared as, um, as an int. It's called number. It will get a copy of six. So when it takes the copy of six and multiplies it by 10, it gets 60. And the next line, it will print out 60. This has not changed the original variable that's up here in this method. So this method here, anything declared in here, is local to that method, can only be seen here. Down here, the uh, parameter, int number, and anything else I've declared in here is only local to that method. Well, that's the way it is at the moment, but we'll discuss now pass by reference in a second. What I just want to do here is print out the value here of so the original, the original value is now I'm just run that. Now I've made a mistake there, semicolon. Okay, it was showing me one, but I hadn't typed it in. In here it will show the firstly, there will be the printout from the method that will give in change the value method. The number is 60, so it did change its copy of 6, and the original value there is still 6, so that did not change. Now to look at C sharp has uh, pass by reference. So um, there are reference types like any class types. If you pass in um, an array or say you've got a customer class or a bank account class and you pass that into a method, that will be passed by reference. But when you're passing in these value types, like the kind of the, the base kind of primitives they're known as in Java, like your int, your byte, your long and float, um, they are passed by value. But you can turn it into a pass by reference. And what you do for that is you put in the keyword ref, but that's so the keyword ref goes into the parameter, the declaration of the parameter where you declare the method. It also must go in beside the argument. So the argument is what you pass in. The parameter is the declaration in the method. So ref must go in front of both just to make it clear what's happening. So now I'm saying pass by reference. Now the method has a reference to the memory address of the original variable and it can change its contents. So if I run this now, um, we have the original six, I'll call the method, pass down. So we'll see that it will print out 60 down here because it has, it has changed the original and it's printing out the original. So it has a reference to it called number. There's also a reference up here to the variable called original. When I print out original up here, it, that will also print out 60. And now we can see that 60 is printed out in both cases. So without the ref keyword, it will be passed by uh, value. So a copy of the variable gets passed down. So six would be passed down. Number would have the value of six. But when ref is in there, then a reference, the original uh, memory address is passed to where that variable is in memory. And now the method can change the contents of the original memory address.